used to swear he could sing. Y'all look, we were about to get out of the car and we, had to, we turned around and looked at him. He was in the back going on. Oh to our channel if you are new to this channel my name is kelly Zine. my name is lucky luke make sure you stay true and hit the like button don't be a hater on your life make sure you subscribe right now you hang out already also click on the little bell that way you get notified every time we post a new video we gotta say that, that youtube lingo baby yes we do that youtubers lingo get with it anyways we are going to be doing y'all you know nothing about no foil campero baby <laughs> Well, as you can tell by the time of the video, we're going to be doing an updated Q&A. Tell me why we ended up turning around and coming to Pollo Campero because everything else around here had like a long line and Lucky wanted to pull up to Mickey D's and I was just like not having that. Uh, street fight in H-Town? Still going at it. All right, that's enough of that. Look at this empanadas. This is mashed potato. Nike's food looks delicious. You ever ate pollo con pepper? Never. I don't think so. Damn. You don't want it? Okay. I know. I'm still waiting on mine. Yummy. Anyways, I got my sandwich. Let us put this food in our stomach real quick, and then we're gonna come through with the Q and A. Yum. Giving you my line if you come with my verse. Don't wanna see me swinging like usual, but I'm out here racing like usual. These fools saying they lie, but they ain't lie but than us. If you ain't teeth, then you ain't lie, and you ain't lie if you ain't look. Johnny got blue diamonds on my wrist, causing floods. So me, All right, man, blocking. we back. Now I feel like I can vlog. I cannot vlog on an empty stomach. I be trying to tell Kelly that she like turning the camera on, be ready to record, and my stomach be empty, and I'm like, no. Now I can talk about something. What's up, man? How y'all doing today, man? Y'all ready to ask some questions? Y'all want to know the answer? I got all the answers to all your questions, man. Let go. Okay, so obviously I did the Q&A questions off of Instagram, and if you don't follow me or Lucky on Instagram, our Instagrams are linked down below in the description. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and do that. So next time y'all won't miss out whenever we do a Q and A. Okay. The first question is from Teresa underscore one M. Who has the cravings with this pregnancy? I feel like both of us had cravings. Right? I just been hungry. <laughs> I don't really crave. I, I ain't nothing changed. I was hungry before she got pregnant. All right. The next question comes from B. Dot Dondo Two. How do you handle Lucky's other kids' mothers? I kind of don't. Like he handles that. Like you know, like he handles that. It ain't. It ain't no drama. Uh. Next question is from. Is we or something like that? If y'all could change one thing about how y'all were raised, what would it be? I wish I would have more responsibilities and more like like stricter 
parents or stricter like Dad. more rules. I don't know. I feel like I was I would, like did whatever I wanted to when I was growing up. So when I like I wasn't able to like uh, take school seriously when I was in high school or I never um, you know what I'm saying just that affected my adult life being response being a responsible adult like when it comes to like handling business so yeah I just wish I had uh, more uh, structure responsibilities or something I don't know I probably need to give our kids more damn responsibilities yeah we do I guess my answer to that question it would probably be the area that I grew up in because I feel like that affected my childhood a whole lot or no let me take that one back one thing about my childhood that I would change is probably my mom always being at work like I wish she had some time off throughout the week to actually spend it with us you know like sit down and do homework with us and like I don't know I just never really had that presence because she was always working so yeah next question from blue clouds 213 do you guys plan for your kids to be vloggers in the future they already bloggers <laughs> really though they already blogging it up man you know what i'm saying but if they want to take if they want to go and make their own channel and that's what they want to do they they can do that but we're not gonna force them be like yo you got to be a vlogger you know what i'm saying it's up to them okay so this next question is from houston 713 underscore p double m what were you doing when you found out the great flat line had passed i was asleep and i woke up in the morning to the text message matter of fact coast was the one who texted me coast texted me Early in the morning. When I had woke up in the morning, I looked at my phone and had Coles texted me and told me. And then I jumped up out of bed and I called some of my friends from Corpus Christi. And they confirmed it. And that was it. And then everybody started calling and everybody started. I'm going through it. Yeah, that's what happened. I was I was asleep and I woke up to it. Now when I wake up in the morning and I pray, I give thanks for waking up to just not waking up to nothing like that. Because sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you never know. You can wake up to a text that somebody you know died overnight. So just waking up in the morning and everybody's okay, you know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. So the next question is from Cisco 1013 and it is what's a good investment to make? That's a good question. Invest in me. <laughs> I'm the best over here, man. You know what I'm saying? So you how to get it. No, I think the best when best there's a whole bunch of things you can best in, you can best into. Gold, 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 forever go up and gold forever gonna be worth value. Gold's been worth money for thousands of years. Invest into gold. If you got a little bit more money to play with, you can invest in real estate. If you just got a few thousand dollars, throw it in the stock market and let it sit there over years. <laughs> man down, man down. Man, we got the most bootleg blogging system ever. Luciano TV. It's okay. We keep it raw and uncut, unfiltered, know what I'm saying? So the next question is from Nikki713. How and where did you both meet? We've already answered this before, but... I'll tell you again. I met her at the club one night. That was, one, that was a song, right? I was at the club <laughs> one night. One night, that's when so I So look, man. Someone. I was with my partner Ace that cut my hair. This is like the third time I done told the story on the blog. So y'all take this, don't ask us no more. I was at the club, minding my business. 
having a drink. Get your money. Get my right panky now. up. I was looking funny, like bro. a boss. You know what I'm saying? Just cooling in my little old section, he minding swears. my business, like a boss that I am. And then my partner Ace got up to go use the restroom, and when he came back, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna mention." I'm gonna introduce you to my homegirl. She just walked in, and she's uh, she just got here, and her name is uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I was cooling in my section, minding my business, having a drink or two with my pinky up. My partner Ace went to the restroom. He came back and said, "Hey, I'm gonna introduce you to my homegirl Asia," and I said, "All right." And then uh, when she walked up, it was her. But I already knew who she was because I seen her on Instagram before. I didn't know at the time when he told me it was Asia until I saw it was her. And I was like, oh, it's you. Come here, little girl. Come give me a hug. <laughs> Quit acting like y'all know who I am. Come give me a hug. Well, because, okay, look. Okay, are you done with your story? And then she came and gave me a hug. And I said, let me get your number. And then she put her number in my phone. And then next day she came to my house and never went home. Why are you lying? That's what happened. That is not what happened. It was partially what happened. So this is my story, this is the truth, okay? He was at the club with Ace, and when I walked in, Ace was all in my face, like, what up? Come over here to my section, I'm with my boy Lucky. Go to the section, I'm with my homegirl. So we go to the section, and I was just like, oh, hi. When I seen him, I tried to shake his hand, and he was like, come give me a hug, girl. Don't act like you don't know who I be. <laughs> Well, when he told me that, it threw me off. I was like, is he serious right now? Like, he is doing too much. I'm going to give you the chance to talk to me. And I was just like, uh, okay. And so then we heard. I was like, hi. He's like, don't act like you don't know who I am. No, I was just like, well, I mean, I've heard of you, but I don't know you. We've never met. So then we go, we sit down, we start chit-chatting. He start talking to me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know? And then they see, you know... Um, some girl that was with him come back over there in the section and I just didn't feel like I didn't, I didn't feel like Being uncomfortable, you know, so I was like, I feel like I'm stepping on her toes. It's time for me to move around play, play. Said, Nice to meet you uh, You have a good one. You stay, you know, <laughs> safe. Take care He straight dissed the little girl that was over there trying to sit on him and uh, was like, no, 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 give me your number. Well, I didn't take my phone inside the club because I already know how, you know, how we used to party. Well, how I used to party. And I didn't feel like, I felt like I could have lost my phone that night. So I didn't take my phone in the club. I left it in the car. And he was like, oh, you probably gave me a wrong number. I was like, I did it. Just text me and I'll text you whenever I get back in the car. So I did. And then he hit I, me I up. Told, he hit me up, and we went on a date the next day. Yo, he's he's wild. But anyways, moving on to the next question. That's how we met. We met at the club, and that's what happened. Okay, the next question is from I am Lady Liz. She said, "How do you feel about having a baby after Houston?" Go ahead, answer yours first. Yeah, you I love kids. I tell you, the more the merrier. I ain't tripping. How I feel? I mean, now I'm just like, it's reality. It's going to happen regardless. But at the beginning, I was so overwhelmed. I was so stressed. I really was like, what am I going to do with another kid? We already have so many. And I was just stressed. I was like, ugh. But you know, at the end of the day, this baby is a blessing and I we love him already. Like, I just can't wait to meet him. Yeah. So... The next question is from Jazzy Sega. For Lucky, how did you know Kelly was the one for you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew Kelly. I knew Kelly Jean was the one for me when I seen how she interacted with my kids and how she just loved all my kids like they were hers. And she just, you know what I'm saying? She was just real good to my kids. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Good answer, good answer. If a genie grant... Oh, this is from YG dot 
WTX underscore. If a genie granted you slash lucky three wishes, what would you what would you wish for? Another wish. Oh my god, you would say that. Another wish. I would wish for. What would I wish for? Probably for like, like terminal illnesses not to be a thing, you know? Like that cancer didn't exist or any, any sickness that could kill you did not exist. All right, next question. The next question is from Elaine Jacob 47. Is the wedding still on? If it is, can can't wait. So excited. Yeah, the wedding's still on. What? Y'all thought we called it off? The wedding, I mean, yeah, we're going to get married, but I don't know if we're going to get married this year in June. Like we said, June 27th was the date we wanted to. Um, just because the pregnancy threw it off. Like, I haven't been able to go try on a dress or look for a dress because of that, because I'm pregnant. And that's just basically it. What the what? But we do still plan on getting married. If not this year. Yeah, this year, right, babe? We're going to make it happen this year. We're going to make it happen this year. Houston's a little cranky right now. And he wants my phone to watch Elmo. Oh, yeah. to swear he could sing y'all look we were about to get out of the car and we, had to, we turned around and looked at him he was in the back going on <laughs> 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 <laughs>